Hey my beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today we're heading down to B&M. They had some amazing, amazing, amazing bits of interior in. I start the vlog with bits and pieces from their gift section and then also the Christmas decorations, but they have some amazing interior as well. Sorry that Lola, my dog, is tapping around on the laminate. It's so loud, but I just can't stop her. So it is what it is. Also, I'm just going from work. This makeup has been on for 12 hours. So sorry if I look a little bit rough. <laughs> I did get told off in B&M, which I'll talk to you about at the end of the vlog. Um, but yeah, you'll notice a change in quality halfway through the video. <laughs> so let's get down there. So if you like Hinter Bueno, you need to get these. They're 35 calories per piece and they are absolutely delicious. You get 20 a packet as well. And again, this would actually be a really nice Christmas gift. But I'm just showing you this because I really, really love them. So they've got these alphabetical notebooks. They're furry. You've got the pink one and then also a white one. And then we've also got these really pretty little makeup bags for <clears throat> perfect for a younger girl and they've also got the matching hairbrush as well which has the glitter in there and then we've got these hot water bottles for eight pounds they're actually long ones and we also have these really sweet little socks as well for three pounds each so we have these lovely alphabetical glass bottles for five pounds they've got them in blue and then also pink i think they're absolutely lovely and we also have these so cold fusion tea sets so you get the bottle and then you also get two to so your orange energy and then jasmine rose tea and they're six pounds they're really lovely and then what is this this looks cute a trinket tray for three pounds again i got that in a couple different colors as well and then we've also got this range so all the lovely deep colors they've got the hot water bottles they've got all the makeup bags as well and then the notepads to go with okay guys so i'm having a look at the gift ideas they've got loads and loads of alcoholic things so we've got this so it's seven pounds 45 and it has a selection of gin and tonics so you've got elderflower pink grapefruit natural indian and then rosemary i haven't heard of that and then you get a couple different gins there as well so that's really good for any gin lover out there they also have the standard baileys ones and they also have this one so again three different flavored gins sorry about any beeping they have this which is 9.99 so you get a popcorn holder which is actually reusable and they get two bottles of rose in there which i think is really sweet and you also get the popcorn so that's a lovely gift and they also have this pink gin and then a really floral gin glass as well they have some luxury food hampers. This one up here is £15 and you get different things in there. So you get fudges and um, chutneys, crackers, that sort of thing. So another really nice hamper for this Christmas season. And then they've got mulled wine down there for £6.99. You've got some Bailey's chocolates and then some fa um, famous grouse as well. Some more things for any foodies out there. So we've got a chocolate brownie skillet. Skillet? Is that actually how you say it? Anyway, £4. We've got these hot chocolate me to use for £5 pounds this tassimo so you get the two glasses and then the coffee as well and then they also have some jams i love little things like this they also have some really cute sets this one's five pounds so you get the hot chocolate and then the lovely mug and they've also got that one in blue as well and they've got a really similar one for seven pounds but you have a hot water bottle a hot chocolate and then also a mug as well so they're really cute sets this is really sweet and a perfect stocking filler so it's only one pounds 29 you get the hot chocolate and then also the marshmallows in there they've got these large salts they're one pound 49 each you get the himalayan and then also the coarse sea salt but these are really nice for anyone that loves cooking i think they look really really pretty um for your kitchen so i think they're nice little gifts and then they just have some more jam sets or this sorry this one's different honeys and um, they have jam versions they've got loads of food things which is fab and then obviously we have all the standard biscuits. I mean, I'm not gonna go through all of them. They also have this butter kiss set, five pounds. Sorry if I'm a bit shaky by the way today, guys. I feel like my hand is shaking a little bit. And then we have like all of these cute ones as well. We've got these jammy dodgers for four pounds in a big jar, which is reusable. And then you've got the standard like Ferrero Rochers, more of these kits, and then some disgusting things like this. I mean, I don't know who on earth is doing that. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done that, if you do don't know we can be friends guys because i'm not about that sort of stuff it's absolutely disgusting oh look at these strawberries and cream chocolates by baileys now that is cute isn't it so i'm having a look at all the christmas decorations i've come across this tree for 10 pounds which is a golden kind of like a silvery gold color then we have this light up glass pink tree and then we have one here which is only eight pounds this is really really sparkly 
and this one is a lovely gold then we have this wreath so this one is a really coppery wreath that's 20 and they also have one behind as well this one's like eucalyptus -y sort of style and then this one is also 22 they also have the matching garland so if you want to design something yourself you can definitely do that and they also have loads of pink things so we've got this pink tree skirt and um, we've got a pink santa as well and then we've got some reindeers we've got this pink house it's four pounds and you can actually put a little candle in there i think and then it oh no it's the battery operated actually and that will light up so things like that are really sweet they have loads of stockings out and about which is great so we've got these ones we've got these huge ones down here these are alphabetical there's so many garlands in here as you can see and loads of wreaths as well so this one is eight pounds and they've also got this one and then some half wreaths too quite like these ones with the metal ring actually i'm starting to get quite into them they also have this led twig tree for only 10 pounds gives me major white company vibes i have to say oh look i love all stuff like this so these sort of things you can pop into your tree to add texture or you can obviously use them for a floral display so they're at four pounds each i believe so you've got some flowers you've got some feathers as well and then here is a little overview of the silver decorations so we've got some alphabetical things we've got some droplets loads and loads of decorations as you can see and then some more lovely wreaths over here i love this one the frosted with berries i think that's beautiful and we also have this one too and then this one so a lot of these you can add to them and decorate them more to your taste um, they also have lots of garlands again very similar design and these are perfect for your table centerpiece you can pop some candles throughout that and they also have similar little trees up there too they have this lovely feather tree it's only 10 pounds white and it's got the little silver edges it's so so cute and then they also have some mini wreath versions of it as well so we've got this one a little hanging one and we've got a mini one here so this one's two pound fifty this one is five pounds and then we've got some polar bears five pounds too and then another mini tree here which is only eight pounds it's frosted really really cute and we also have this baby too and then we've got these these are perfect for your table again you can pop these around a candle and these ones are only two pounds 50 each which is fab we have this pop-up tree skirt for only this can't be only three pounds no i must be looking at the wrong price i feel like a lot of the prices are harder to see today um oh it's 10 pounds okay really like this gray pops up lovely wicker design might have to consider getting that later on it's a little bit heavy though so i'm definitely going to come back for it when i'm done yeah. and then lots of decorations for the house we've got this polar bear we've got more santas here and then we've got loads and loads of baubles so they have so many packets of baubles as you can see they've got the same sort of packets in every single color you could ever want so you've got mini packets for three pounds you've got some medium ones for four you've got the larger luxury ones for ten pounds for a pack of nine some more christmas decorations we've got these merry christmas wooden signs we've got this tree as well for eight pounds three mini trees this is light up and then we've got this loads more baubles as you can see some really lovely interior bits for this winter so this one is five pounds the stag plaque and then we have this re-diffused oh right guys so i've just been told off the film in b m so i'm going to film my phone just a bit more discreet um but yeah anyway <laughs> so we've got this re-diffuser so this one is cranberry spice i absolutely love that i think it looks absolutely beautiful and that'll make a lovely christmas gift we also have this lovely heart tea light holder as well i feel a little bit off put now that i've been told of i mean i haven't i haven't i haven't like one of the store workers isn't happy but i've had a chat with the manager so anyway <laughs> and then we've got these ones we've got some bears as well and just loads of little cute tea light holders for three pounds five pounds for this and then we have these as well so they're 20 pounds for this one and then we also have this one which is also 20 so they're two different heights but i love those and then just some more cute bits of interior so we've got this we've got oops we've got these for 20 pounds each i love these little trays they're only five pounds each they also have this bamboo tea light holder and yeah just loads of bits of interior obviously all this stuff isn't christmasy it's just um you know the new in interior but i thought i'd just give you a little overview to show you what is new in and what you can find down here they have got this lovely tray for eight pounds some elephants as well they've got the nicest cushions and throws for christmas time so we've got these faux 
sorry about my nail, that's falling off. Faux sheepskin cushions, and then we've got these ones for eight pounds. They're similar, but they've got a little bit of a pattern to them. And then they've got a teddy throw for 15. This is like the biggest throw in the world. And then they also have this oak wood one, it's basically white and it's got gray stripes down it for 20. These ones are the best, they're so warm such amazing quality and they wash up amazingly too so i highly recommend they actually have a throw that matches this cushion too up there you can't really see it i'm sorry by the way if i'm a bit shaky now guys because i'm on my phone it probably quality probably isn't as good We've got the matching cushions there to go with the throw and they're 10 pounds each and then we also have this lovely design i haven't seen it before it's 20 pounds it's gray with little dots on it and then they also have the matching cushion as well for just 10 pounds Oh, they also have a sculpted faux fur rug, £40. Love that. I think that's really lovely, considering getting it. Like sunshine. loads of lovely slippers in here which will make perfect Christmas gifts as you can see and then we've also got loads of lovely socks too so these are three and four pounds each so yeah loads of lovely socks they're packs of three and they also have these little pop-on slippers for three pounds too I think stuff like this is always the perfect stocking fillers they've literally got a colour for everyone there too then they have lots of thermal items so we've got thermal leggings we've got thermal socks there as well and then we've got a thermal hat even a snood <laughs> and then lots of just standard socks a little pop-on socks and just plain ones as well and then over here I can spot a load more Christmassy stuff so we've got all of these Christmassy little socks and then some more Christmas socks too down there then they've got loads of Christmas pajamas they've actually got ones that fit all the family so perfect if you want to have a family picture and you all want to be matching I think that's super super cute so guys, that is the end of the Come and Shop With Me. So to talk to you guys about the little encounter I had in B&M. So basically a store worker came up to me and said to me, you're not meant to be filming in here. Um, I told you the other week and I said, no, you didn't. She said, yes, I did. And I said, well, it wasn't me because I don't come here very often because the store I went to, I'm not going to say what store it was just because I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but the store I went to, I rarely go there. So that obviously wasn't factual, but clearly someone else had been vlogging in there and she told, told her off. And she said to me, well, you're not allowed to vlog in here. And I said, well, all I'm doing is promoting the business for you and creating content and people enjoy watching it and want to buy the things. So I asked to speak to the manager um, and he came over and he was actually really, really lovely, really understanding. And he completely understood what I was saying. He was a really nice man. Um, but he said it's store policy and he said it's now a legal requirement that no one uses their phones or cameras in store and I said so can you not take a picture then to send to a friend and he said no it's against data protection so at that point I said to him hang on a second I work in financial advice I deal with GDPR data protection laws all day long and I said me taking a picture or anyone taking a picture of a vase and sending it to their friend is not breaching data protection I'm not showing anyone's face I'm not showing anyone's identity I'm not revealing anyone's identity, so I don't see how that is um, data protection. Anyway, at that point, I think he kind of just, I don't know, he just kind of agreed with me. He basically said he completely understands what vloggers are doing. He said it's really good. He said we need to move forward with the times, and he'll speak to head office and see what he can do. But, yeah, that was basically what happened. So, yeah, I want to tell you about my little encounter. Some people will think I'm out of order that I kept filming, but I just think, at the end of the day, I've never had a problem in there before. 
I did speak to the store manager and after that it was all cleared up anyway. So yeah, that is what happened <laughs> for anyone that's interested. But I do find it ridiculous because I just think at the end of the day, guys, it's free advertisement for b and They're not paying us anything. They don't work with any YouTubers that I'm aware of. I mean, if they do, I'm quite offended because I've been promoting them for years. Um, and all we do is generate them sales. And I get it from the point of view of getting other people in the shop because... You know, you, I guess you need permission to have someone on YouTube. So I guess from that point of view, yes, maybe people who are vlogging do need to be really careful. I try and be as careful as I can. Don't get me wrong, you could probably go back and even in this vlog, there might be someone's face or something in it. I try my best not to do that. I try and just focus on the items and not show aisles too much to people. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you on my side? Are you on their side? Like, what do you think? Let's have a little debate about it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I've got quite a few more come and shop with me's planned. And then we're going to be moving on to the Christmas gift guides. Very, very soon so I hope you're looking forward to them because they'll be commencing early November. Let me know in the comments what gift guides you want to see and I'll see you really soon. Mwah! Bye guys!